And if you're looking for ideas on what to make for your family, these women are here to help. Laura Keo and Carrie yes. Marsh, thanks for joining you guys us. Have a new for cookbook. Us. You have a new cookbook out called How to Feed a Family. Absolutely. Now, how is this different than any other cookbook? Well, I think what the main difference with our cookbook is the fact that we really talk about getting the kids involved in the kitchen. And we believe in that because we know that kids that are involved in the kitchen are more likely to eat the food. And so all of our recipes are kind of born out of that inspiration. And they're all really easy because parents are super busy. Yeah. And, and when you want your kids involved, you need to have something simple, right? Yes. You need to, exactly. Exactly. And we're not saying you look get them involved. And look, he's in the kitchen. Look, he's involved in the kitchen. I'm already involved. The kids are involved. <laughs> if there's food, he wants to eat he's it. He's there. So, and there's no asparagus here. So he's oh, going to good, good. So what are we making first? So the, what we're going to make is the our mini kale and Parmesan quiche. And Yum. we came up with this recipe when our children were really young. And we thought, OK. We want to get kale into our kids because right. it's a superfood, and we know it's going to help with things like our immune support and things like that. So we were like, how are we going to do this, and how are we going to make it easy and fun for our, our kids? And quiche is a great vehicle yeah. because it's garlicky, oniony, egg, and this pesto. Laura's going to make the pesto. Okay. So here. I'll get this started. Here, you get started. I'm going to hang with you over here because kale is not my favorite thing on earth. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, I'm going to change that about you. Yes. Okay, so we've got yes. in this pan some oil and some garlic and onion, and okay. we've got it all happy in there and getting all... Lovely, and then we're just going to add our cleaned and chopped kale. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to saute this for a while. So you're going to mix it up with the garlic and the onion, and it's going to wilt down and get all beautiful. You're going to cover it, and it's going to take about 20 minutes. And every couple of minutes, you're going to go back and you're going to stir it all up. Okay. And then once and it's all is, wilted, this is where you're going to end up. This is oh, yes. wow. This is how it's going to look. That's when you just love. turned into that. All That's this right. will turn into this. Okay. And, what ha and how it turns into this little pesto is we put it in a Cuisinart. And we get it to this kind of fine consistency. And okay. then if you want, you can plop it right into my five eggs. And I've got Parmesan cheese in there. Okay. And you just whisk it up. Okay. And one of the great things we decided to do was use um, these, these little mini... Um, Guys, to put it ramekins. Like well, yeah. the ramekins, because kids love things that are small. Sure. And I like things that are small. Me too. Portion right. control. And now, what is this? This is a parchment well, paper. Well, we've got four sheets of phyllo dough oh, in it's there. Phyllo and dough. It's an alternative wow. <laughs> to kind of a crust because it's a healthier Fatty. alternative. All right. Wow. So does this go in there? You can pour it right it. in there. Okay. And this is something fun that the kids can do if you have the time. I mean, we're not right. about getting the kids involved in the kitchen when you have 20 minutes to dinner. Right. And so when they come out, they're going to look like that like over there. They're come out and look like this. Delicious. In the oven for how long? They're going to bake in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Wow. And then when they're set, but they're still a little jiggly, they're ready. And then wow. you can pop them out. And what's great is that everyone gets their own little mini quiche. And you can have something on the side, like some a salad or another veg. Awesome. Yeah. OK, well, we're, we're going to get back to more yes. motherly cooking advice with Laura and Carrie in a few minutes.